automatically add about 300 new followers to all of my Twitter accounts every day. If we log into TweetAdder, we'll see a list of Twitter accounts that I'm managing with TweetAdder. If I would like to add another Twitter account, I just add the username and password right there and it's added to the list. Very easy. Well, let's log into one of those accounts and we could see the statistics on the left, the number of followers that I have for this account, the number that I'm following, the following follower ratio, which I want to keep below 1.1 if I'm following more than 2,000 in an account, and the to-do list, the number of users I want to follow and unfollow and follow back. And down below that is the daily activity, how many follows I sent, how many followers I picked up and followers lost. And let's check out the unfollow tab. If I want to specify the number to unfollow for this account, I do it right there. And down here I can specify that I only want to unfollow users that have been added by TweetAdder. Very important to specify the number of days that you're going to wait until you unfollow. Otherwise you might look like churn to Twitter if you follow, unfollow too quickly. And also TweetAdder allows you to create a safe list of users that you won't accidentally unfollow. Well, Let's go to the follow tab and here's where you specify the number of users to follow. And these are all automated tasks as soon as you put them in there. And the number of users to follow back and the maximum number of follows that you want to send out per day. And also very importantly, if you're following more than 2,000 users, down here you want to specify that you're keeping your following follower issue 1.1 or below. And here's where you specify the automation. By checking all those check boxes, you've specified that all of those tasks, those follow and unfollow tasks that we just looked at, are now automated for this account very easily. And you can also automate sending messages, tweets, and replies, but I don't use TweetAdder for that. I find another software package called Social Oomph is better for that, so I don't use TweetAdder for that at all. Now, let's take a look at how we keep that following follower ratio at 1.1 or below for accounts that, have, that are following more than 2,000 users. You can see this account is following more than 2,000 users, and the following follower ratio is 1.1. Well, how do we do that? You can see that that checkbox is checked, and I've specified the ratio is 1.1 right there, and it works. Now let's go create a new who to follow list. Our current who to follow list only has 259 more users to follow. Let's clear that and create a new one. So just hit that to clear it. And then to create a new one, we're in the search tab right here, and there are five ways we can search for users by the keywords in their tweets, by profile data, by their location. Whether they're followers of another user, that's real big. I use that a lot. And whether they're users followed by another user. Well, let's create our, our follow list based upon users that have used the word analytics in their tweets over the last four days. So we hit the search button. It's bringing up a lot, 12, 13 pages. And it shows the first 1,500 results from that. And hit that checkbox to, check box to save all those. Go down there save checked rows and it looks like it saved 1161 in your new who to follow list there were probably 341 duplicates and they were removed and to start following them you just specify in the follow tab the number of users to follow pretty simple so if you want to automate everything just hit that check box and that checks all of the accounts and then hit run automated tasks and you can watch TweetAdder do its thing. This is the first account that it opens up and does it. Now, I definitely recommend TweetAdder. I've purchased the version that manages an unlimited number of accounts, although I only use it to manage nine Twitter accounts right now. And it's allowed me to add about 300 new followers to all of my accounts daily with not much effort on my part. I probably spend about 15 minutes every day making minor adjustments to all of my accounts. And then I turn on the automation, as we just saw, and that runs all automated tasks and all accounts to completion. Couldn't be simpler.